My name is Christopher Skeldon. I am studying geosciences at Hamilton College in New York. The program I was working on was the degassing survey in El Hierro for the first half and on Mount Tede for the second half. El Hierro is a pretty peaceful time. It's a very, uh, it's not densely populated at all. It's and not very many tourists get there. It was just me and another geo intern studying there up about a thousand meters up on a mountain. And so we'd basically spend the day measuring points all around the islands, uh, taking measurements of the temperature and the CO2 emissions. My experience on Mount Tede was pretty different from El Hierro. So this was much more physically difficult climbing up the mountain pretty much every day uh, when it was possible to go up and then slowly climbing down as we measured points. And then other days were actually even less physically intensive and a lot more formal because we were working with the data, which we never really did in El Hierro, so we'd spend pretty much a full day in the lab. Working here is pretty different from working at college because there's a lot more learning how to do things on the fly. Our very first day of work, we, were, we really didn't know how to do anything up until that very moment when we measured our first point. Never really got like a, a complete lecture series on, on the topic of uh, carbon emissions. It's also pretty different because I feel like you have to learn to work even more cooperatively. In, in classes at college, if you want to, you can pretty much avoid other people, whereas here, you really have to get along with your team and learn how to work effectively and quickly so you can um, be the most efficient while doing your work. Weekends, we would go on various trips. Um, for the first one, when, we, when Dave and I were in El Hero, we went whale watching. We didn't actually really see anything, but it still gave us a chance to kind of look around a small town, look at seeing it in the south. Then the second week was definitely more interesting. We went, learned how to go scuba diving, which I, was a pretty difficult experience, but we made it through it and we saw some interesting fish. Then last weekend we were back on in Tenerife, so we went on a trip to Hell's Canyon, which was an, which was an unexpected time just because it was it, it gave us some views, which obviously a lot around Tenerife you can see a lot of great views, but there was also a waterfall at the end of the path. I think my main advice for students considering applying would be to really. Uh, look at the descriptions of what programs you're applying to because there you definitely have a pretty diverse array of them like El Hero, Dave and I were living very much in isolation much more than for people who work solely in Tenerife. I'd recommend pretty much anyone with a g genuine interest in geosciences and volcanology would apply but definitely make sure you know what exactly it is you're getting into. I'd recommend especially if you have hiking experience to, to apply, so that going up and down the mountain is much easier. Otherwise, it, it could prove to be difficult or potentially even impossible. Uh, I'd also recommend just anyone who wants to travel to apply, because you really get a very diverse experience. I've pretty much spent my entire life in the northeastern US, so I don't really have much experience really being in Europe at all, or even really being in a warm climate or where people don't speak English. So it definitely really provided me with new opportunities to experience all of that.